Alrighty everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 3. If you remember last time around, we had actually arrived in the real Silent Hill, and we had immediately gone to the hospital. And that's where we are right now. And we have a good amount of items and everything, like we're fully stocked. The only problem is, we don't have a map. We have to go through this hospital and look for a map, right? But outside of that, we have a bunch of weapons. Like, we're good to go. Like, we're, we're locked and loaded here. Um... Do I have the gun? I do have the gun out. Okay. We have no map. That kind of sucks. Is there anything else in this room? No. Let's go through this door. We're not going through that door. Okay. Would I consider playing the original Assassin's Creed game before Mirage? I don't know. If you wanted to see it during the summer, maybe? I don't know. Let's see here. Okay. Ah, my eye. My eye is itchy a little bit. I get the feeling the spring allergy season is about to hit me. <laughs> What's up, uh, Hubby Gaming? How are you? He says he's looking forward to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. There you go. Well, shit. Here we go. Ow. I don't even know what hit me. Okay. Meh. I'm close to full. What's up, Green Goblin? So what is this? <clears throat> A book. The day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll that I made to commemorate our meeting to the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Who the hell was that? Disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten-foot pole. What, the figure? You won't touch the little figurine? What? Why? I don't get it. I'm... <laughs> I'm confused. What? What's wrong with the figure? Unless you're making an insinuation about something. Was that a guy talking to a little girl that he was in love with a little girl or something? I, I'm lost. I'm confused. Lost and confused. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Hold on a second here, everybody. Let's see here. I got a $2 tip from $2 who tipped me $2. Thanks to $2 for $2. There you go. Thank you very much. $2 from $2. Wait. $2 from $2 or $2 from $2? Now I'm confused. Who put the dollars in the dollars? What I need is the map so I know where I'm going. This is not good. Shit! Okay, uh, I didn't really want to have to do that, but I mean, they were in my way and they were being very annoying. So, uh, what are you going to do, right? Sometimes you got to take it into your own hands. I think if you don't... Th this game's endings are based on how many enemies you kill, I think. <clears throat> so, if you kill enemies, sometimes it counts against you, but it could lead you to a different ending or something. So, C1. Oh, my God. I need the map. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Remember, C2 is a serious, serious room. Just remember that.
another one of these? Okay. Did I ever attend the Boston Marathon when I lived on the East Coast? No, I did not. Okay. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget about all of that. But I'll say, stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wrenches won't stop using. Oh, wenches, not wrenches. Excuse me. If a thing is no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. Why haven't you taken my doll with you? Huh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. <clears throat> there are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? There's a key glued to the wall. I'll take it with me, but it's really stuck. I can't even pull it off. So it looks like we need to find something that's going to dilute the glue. So this is what? Room C3. So room C3 has glue we need to dilute once we find something. Maybe like a, I don't know, a thinner? A thinning agent? I don't know what would, what would break down glue. <clears throat> Gray, El Grey Zoro says, why don't you do an unplugged version of your songs? I do that all the time. Uh, just ask me to sing lyrics to one of my songs and I will. Jay says, where Street Fighter 6 is out, I will play with Jury. I was watching Street Fighter 4 and 5, and I tried to play Street Fighter 5, but it's not easy for me. I don't think Street Fighter 5 had many, if any, accessibility options, did it? I don't think so. So, hmm. All right. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not exactly the same layout as Silent Hill 2's hospital, right? Only it doesn't look different. I'm almost positive this is the same as Silent Hills 2's hospital. So this is room C2. It was full of those nurses. I don't know if I want to go in there at this point. I think I want to find the map first. The map's gotta be around here somewhere. I can't even go through this door. It doesn't work. Look, it doesn't trigger when I miss the button. Huh. Oh my god, you're so annoying. This is the front door? Alright, you know what? Fuck this. Fucking annoying. <laughs> it won't get out of my face. Now you know why they give you so many uh so much ammo earlier on. Like this is literally why. There's a million of these enemies in this hospital. Here's another one. Where the fuck is the map? How did I not found the map? Shut the fuck. I was going to say up, but he's already dead. Okay. El Grey Zoro says, that's a valid question. I don't play Silent Hill games. I don't know if it's the same town. Every game should all locations be the same. Um, The first game I want to say, and I haven't played it in a long time, is Silent Hill, but it's different. And I think 2 and 3 share the same locations once you get to Silent Hill. Am I correct there? I think I'm correct in saying that. Because this definitely looks like uh, you know, the original layout for the hospital. Except I have no idea where the map is. Now at least they're dead so I can, like, investigate and not have to worry about being chased. And that annoying-ass fucking sound, right? Let's cover every corridor here, so... I already found the new area. Good. A kitchen? A teapot or something? There's more doors. Let's look over here first. 
Nothing of interest on the desk. Medical record or something is for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Hmm. Greetings and salutations to you, Cheerio Eater. Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to the reports, becomes very violent when overexciting. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy that wrote that sick diary. So it sounds like, I guess, she thinks Coleman was writing that to a little girl. Which he's saying he leaves in love with a little girl who's so a pedophile. Oh, jeez. Room SO7, usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows a uh, and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This caused violent incidents use caution. Well, now they're saying it's a woman. So it's not a girl, it's a woman? They're still written on the whiteboard. but none, none of it bothers me. Well, as long as it doesn't bother you. <clears throat> a memo posted on the fridge. Food only, do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drugs in here. I got a health drink. There was a health drink in there. Very nice. <laughs> well, two ways to go. One way to go. No ways to go. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. We gotta find the map. It's gotta be here somewhere, right? Wait a minute, have we already been here? I think we were. See how confusing this is? With no map, you end up going in circles. Yeah, we've already been here. With no map, you end up just going in circles. Ugh, this sucks. I need the map so bad. Let's let's retrace our steps. Here's the main door. With the front door, okay? We're gonna walk in. We're gonna go left. We're gonna check each door. That's locked. Lock. Locked, 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 broken. Locked, broken. Okay, let's keep going. Was there a multiplayer mode for this remaster? Not to my knowledge, Brandon. I don't think there's ever been a multiplayer Silent Hill, right? Alright, dead end. Can't go this way. <clears throat> now, right hand side, there's just the one door. That's the door we were literally just in. We cleared the room. There's nothing in here. I just want to double check. Locked. Locked. Both doors are locked. Okay? I'm playing Modern Warfare 2. It's extremely laggy. I don't blame you for not playing it anymore, says Jeremy. Well, I have no desire to ever play it again after they did their Season 1 pass and screwed it all up. Apparently Season 2 is out now. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm done with that game. Alright, so now there's an elevator. It works! Basement doesn't work. We're on the first floor. We'll go to the second floor. Keep in mind, there's only one room we didn't clear. The one with the three nurses in it. You gotta think the map's around here somewhere, man, right? So this is the second floor. There we go again. Everything locked. El Grey Zoros, I believe Silent Hill Book of Memories for PlayStation Vita had multiplayer, but that's a different kind of game. Oh, I didn't play any Vita Silent Hill game. I can't see. What the f... It's all locked. What's the point of the floor? Let's go this way. Still no map. No map anywhere. Oh, God. There's so many ways to go. Let's go this way first. It's locked. So this one needs a key. What does this say? There's a typewritten memo. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the first. All right. I got to take a picture. Here we go with the, the cryptic puzzle nonsense, right? Seriously. <laughs> take a picture here. Okay. By the way, 
I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you so much, One Minute Man, for your usual and ongoing support of all of my content here on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you. Here's your nice animation. Actually, that's the first animation of the day, isn't it? It is, isn't it? And uh, let's get you up on the leaderboard as the biggest contributor. Thank you, One Minute Man. $28 in tips on our way to the Tier 1 tips goal. Guys, it would be great. Again, if you're enjoying yourselves today, if you can support the stream, thank you in advance. Okay. <clears throat> oh, no. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key... Okay. Great. It's locked. So we have two locked doors. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. The first is larger than the second. What does this even mean? What? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Let's do it backward. Let's say the first is larger than the second. Let's say the first is eight. The fourth is half the first, so it would be four. The third is smaller than the four, so it would either be three, two, or one. The second is twice the third. Let's say the let's say the first is eight, the fourth is half the first. <clears throat> the first is larger than the second. So let's say eight. If the if the fourth is half the first, it, it, it would be four. The third is smaller than the fourth. It could be three, two, or one. The second is twice the third. So so eight, two, one, four. Four of the numbers are not repeated. So none of them are ever repeated. Three are, are not in the top row. Three numbers are not in the top row. So only one of the numbers is in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. <clears throat> what does that mean? One of the numbers is the final key. What does that even mean? So let's say, let's assume the first is six, okay? The fourth is half the first, so the fourth would be three. The third is smaller than the fourth, so it would be two or one. The second is twice the third. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How the fuck do you do this shit? My 
My problem is it says four of the are, of the numbers are not repeated. Okay, so there's no repeats. Three are not in the top row. How is it possible to do this if three of the numbers are not in the top row? That's insane. Only one of the numbers is in the top row. That means the the first number it says the first number is larger than the second. First number cannot be one. There's no way it could be one. I think I need to, to make it a notepad here. Okay? Let me get a notepad. All right? Because we need to eliminate. Let me get a notepad. Okay. Here we go. So there's going to be, is it four? It's four numbers. So one, two, three, and four. And each one could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Right? Writing all this down. See that? So there's four numbers, one through four. That's the order you're going to enter them. And each one could be 1 through 9. The first is larger than the second. If the first number is larger than the second, then there's absolutely no way the first number can be 1. Because no number... 1 can't be bigger than any other number. So that means the first number absolutely cannot be 1. Okay? So let's cross that off. It can't be 1. It's not possible. If the first number is larger than the second. So let's cross that off bigger than zero but there's no zero there's no zero input so the zero isn't even an option it's only one through nine so it can't be one so we cross off one we know that the second is twice the third <clears throat> okay so that means the second number has to be two or bigger the second number also cannot be one see that so that the second number also is not one we cross off one for that the third is smaller than the fourth that doesn't really help us. The fourth is half the first. <clears throat> now, if we go in logical order, okay? Let's say, okay, if the first is larger than the second and the second is, is twice the third, neither one or two can be the number one. So that means the first number cannot also be two because the second number can't be one. So then the first number is not two. So we cross that off. Okay? The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. So let's assume the first number is... Okay. Here's one. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. So if the first number were three... Oh, wait. That doesn't make sense. The fourth is half the first? Okay. Okay. If the fourth is half of the first, that means the first number can't be odd. Because you can't take half numbers. So the first number has to be an even number. So we immediately we eliminate 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the first number has to either be 4, 6, or 8. Going by the logic of the puzzle. Okay? So let's do some math. If the fourth number is half of the first, okay? Let's assume the first number is eight. Then the second, the fourth number would be four. The third is smaller than the fourth, okay? So, so the third number would have to be three, two, or one. The second number is twice the third. Well, okay, we could try some combinations. So if that's the case, it could be eight, four and then the third number could be three two or one we don't know and in each case the second is twice the third so it could be eight four three six eight four three four but it can't be that because that would be a duplicate eight four one two so it could be 8436 or 8412. Let's try either one of those and see if those are correct. 8, 4, 
three, six. Nope. Okay, try it again. It could be eight, four, one, two. Actually, can't be eight, four, one, two. You want to know why? Because in the second half of the puzzle, it says three are not in the top row. So eight, four, one, two, one and two would be in the top row. So it can't be that. Okay. <clears throat> so it actually cannot start with eight. We tried all the combinations of eight and they don't work. So now we got to do six. So let's assume the first number is six. Okay. Then that would mean the fourth is half of the first. So the fourth number would be three. The third is smaller than the fourth. So the third would have to be two or one. And then the second is twice the third. Okay. So it could be six, four, two, three. No. Six, three, two, three. No, it can't work because there's duplicates and there's no duplicates. If the third is smaller than the fourth, this is not right. This can't be right. I screwed up. I did the number order wrong. It, it's th with the eight. I made a mistake. It's supposed to be eight blank blank four. Not eight blank blank six. I did the math wrong. So I can completely eliminate my original eight combination. Eight blank blank four. Because <clears throat> the fourth is half of the first. Let's back out. So it's eight blank blank four. The fourth is half of the first. That makes sense. The third is smaller than the fourth. So that would mean that the third has to either be three, two, or one. The second is twice the third. Okay? So the second number either has to be two, four, or six. So it's either eight, two, eight, four, eight, six. Okay? And then... If the second is twice the third, then so it's either eight two one four, eight four eight four, or eight six three four. It has to be eight six three four. It's the only combination that can work is eight six three four. I did it. Nice. Nice. It was tricky, but I got it done. It was logical and tricky. We got it. Very, very nice. Okay, I can delete this now. Very interesting. What's funny is people were spamming all kinds of numbers in the chat. So, all right, we did it. So what's in the room? There's a gun. I had a freaking gun. You ever seen a nurse walking around with a fucking gun in their hand, <laughs> blowing you away in the hallway? It's pretty serious business. We're way down on ammo now. Still don't have a goddamn map. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. 
are so many doors that are locked and so many enemies and uh oh the attache case is locked oh no oh Seven PM, but it looks like it was rusted at six. What the fuck? So it said it was rusted at six, but it ended at seven. What does that mean? How would that... That doesn't help us with the puzzle. It's a combination, right? How high does this go? Nine? Yeah, it doesn't help us. <laughs> this doesn't help us at all. Well, we gotta find a combination. Uh, I don't know how the clock... Stopping it at seven... <clears throat> I don't know how that can help us at all. I don't know what that does. It's a bloody bed. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> I guess we'll have to see. Oh no, not again, not again, not again, not again. There's so many, man. If I'm gonna clear those rooms out, I gotta use the shotgun. Should I clear those rooms out? Is it even worth it? Or do you ignore those rooms? I don't know if there's key items. There's one on the bottom floor that was like that too. I don't know if it's worth uh, worth messing with or not. There are medical textbooks on the shelf, but none of it looks useful for now. What the hell? What the fuck does that say? S start something my key? The start time is my key. <clears throat> so 6 p.m. is the key? There's a medical record here. Could it be for the dead guy? Background unknown. A name age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at the chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to a severed cartoid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in the right hand. Assumed this was the cause of the neck wound. Possible suicide but wound angle suspicious. Sent to the second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of the event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police, however, for future necessity. Leave the victim's bed and effects intact, room M4. Something's written on the pages, but none of them seems important. So it said the start time is the key? Huh. I am enjoying this good life. Right? The start time is my key. So the start time would have been 6 o'clock. 600? 0600? I'm confused. The start time is my key. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10 foot pole. It's another one of the figures? It is. Here's another log. There was a tattooed guy in that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. The alarm clock and filthy bag are his. 
I don't understand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest says I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. Something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel or what tender emotion the, it this brings. Stanley Coleman. Hmm. Argon will be back tonight. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This puzzle's weird. He said the key is my start time. His start time would have been 0600. Nope. Nope. I don't get it. The start time is 6 o'clock. I have no clue how to figure this one out. This seems weird. It almost seems like they don't understand how a fucking clock works. Right? I don't know. It could be... I don't know. Could it be a combination of 6, 7, 1, and 2? 6, 7, and 12? This is so confusing. Butter says, what about 1,800? Oh, you mean like military time? All right, military time would be 1,800. That's a good call. Nope. <laughs> but you're, that was a good that was a good try, Butters. I thought maybe that would have been correct. <clears throat> Shit. <sighs> the start time was definitely six o'clock, right? And the combination, he said, is the start time. Right? So that's either 0600 or 1800. <clears throat> Neither works. So the puzzle's fucked up. Unless, okay, hold on. Are they trying to say, which makes no sense whatsoever, the minute hand was on the 6? If the minute hand was on the 6, then that would be 7.30. But it doesn't make sense, because why didn't the hour hand move? Could it be 6.30? It could be 6.30 or 7.30. If they're saying the minute hand was there, 6.30 or 7.30. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> that'd be 6.30. That's 7.30. Nothing. Jeremy says there might have been another rust spot. Oh my god, are you serious? Jeremy is saying, look at the three. It looks like there could be a rust spot on the three. Oh my god, for real? So maybe it's 615? <laughs> Uh, maybe? Because the hour hand would never touch the three. But the minute hand would get close. Jesus. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is normal difficulty. There's easy, normal, and hard for puzzles. This is normal. Can you imagine how, how this must be on hard? Not 6.15. It's not 6.15 the other way. <sighs> oh. I'm getting a headache. 
<laughs> oh. Oh. My key is the start time. How the fuck do I tell what the start time was, you ass? By the way, we received 100 likes. So thank you for that. Let me do a celebratory bubble blow so we have something to do. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is something else, this puzzle. Okay. Here we go. Did we try 0700 for the hell of it? I think we did, and it didn't work. I'm pretty sure that was the first thing we tried, 0700. All of the rust was fake in a red herring. It was just the time on the clock. That doesn't even make sense. The start time is not the time the alarm went off. So that means the solution is wrong. Because the solution says the key is the start time. Or the start time is the key. The start time is not the time the clock is on now when the alarm went off. So the puzzle solution is incorrect. That's interesting. I get the feeling this is one that was lost in translation. I really do. I get the feeling like they meant something different by that. <clears throat> so I got an, in an instant camera. <clears throat> Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. So we have to find a use for the camera. Okay, we don't have a use for that yet. Well, we got a camera. So I'm wondering, do we want to kill all the enemies in these rooms with the multiple enemies, or is that just a, a trick and there's no reason to kill them? There's one on the first floor and one on the second floor. <clears throat> huh. No, I don't know what the nurses represent in this game. I, I don't know. I only played it once and I don't remember. God, she had a gun! Nurse's got a gun! Polish remover. That's how we're going to get that key. And perfume? Nail polish remover will likely get us the key that's stuck to the wall downstairs. But I don't know what the perfume is going to do for us. Am 
Nothing else interesting in this locker. So we got two key items. I think we need to go kill the uh, the nurses. Okay. The nurses are dead. Um, so I think we do have to go down to the first floor. And we have to get that key from the wall by using the nail polish remover. I was thinking combine the nail polish remover into the perfume bottle and spray it as a spritz onto the wall with the key. But I don't know if that's going to work because I tried to combine and the combine command didn't work. tried all these doors, correct? Yep, they don't work. We still didn't find a key, or a, a map. Well, let's go down to the first floor and try to find this key. Or try to get this key, I should say. Okay. Now, what the hell door was the key in? I don't remember, because we don't have a map. I don't have a map. I can't remember shit. <clears throat> uh, this sucks. I should save. What door was the save door? It was near the front door, wasn't it? Yikes! Let's save so we don't have to redo some of this shit. Here we go. Alright. This is very cryptic. <clears throat> Overwrite the data. Ghost of J, we never found the map. I've been looking everywhere. I can't find the map. <clears throat> we haven't seen the map in any of the rooms. We looked everywhere. We looked on the walls. I, I don't see the map. on the map. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, here we go. <laughs> Here's the map. <clears throat> so it's looking like room C4 is the room where we can go get the key. You can see they circled it. And anything that's scribbled out is a locked room. C2 is open, but that's the one with the three nurses in it. I don't know if we want to kill those nurses or not. If there's a reason, I have no idea. Um... We checked all the other rooms. Yep. So the only room left, let's go back to C4 and try to get this uh, this key. Okay? Go to the pool. You cannot go to the pool right now. We can go later, maybe, from another direction. But I don't think we can get go to the pool now. Pool's closed. No lifeguard on duty. Pool closed. <clears throat> So room C2. No. C2 is the one with enemy. C4. It works. Use the nail polish remover, and I got a stairwell key. Okay. 
The tag says Office Wing Stairs. Okay. Well. There's no room we can unlock on this floor. It's got to be that one that was on the second floor. It's got to be that, that room to unlock. So let's go that way. Excuse me. Jade says, I love to see Yoshimitsu and Marduk in Tekken 8. Uh, Yoshimitsu I used to actually use uh, in Tekken a little bit. How do I get back to the elevator? Back the way we came, right? Right? Yes. Uh, yes, I used to play uh, with Yoshimitsu back in the day, like Tekken 3, 4, those games. I actually liked him. But then they changed him a bit in the future installments, and I never really learned the new... There's new enemies? What the hell? There's new enemies. I never really learned the new Yoshimitsu build. So I don't know how well I would play with them in a modern one. Marduk I never really use, so I actually don't really know how to use him. Maybe I would try him. Cheerio Eater says, I'm enjoying your stream. Thank you, Cheerio Eater. What's the remix we've saying goodbye to? Hobos and dogs. All kinds of licensing music rights that are all messed up right now for that song, so we can't use it anymore, unfortunately. <clears throat> Sucks, but that's life, I guess. Yeah, there's the stairwell key right there. I opened the door, so now we can go through the stairwell. Interesting. So now we go to the basement, or we can go to the third floor. Should we go to the basement first? Whoa. Electrical room, storeroom, boiler room. Let's check these rooms out. Pretty creepy, actually. Is that a fucking Uzi on the floor? An Uzi? I don't remember there being an Uzi in this game. I have no ammo for it. Yeah. Holds 32 rounds of ammunition. Great for continuous firing. The hell? Junk. I don't think there's anything important in here. Suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. I can't squeeze in there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Look. Streaks of blood as the something got dragged and are continuing on in the back of the shelf. It's more like they start from the back of the shelf. What the heck? There's got to be something we can do here with this. No? There's definitely something there. You could even see they circle the wall. But I don't think I have any item or anything I can use in there right now. Hmm. Jade says, what about Armor King? Uh, I like King and Armor King. I'll probably try them out too. I like them because they're wrestler types. Lots of grapples. Anshang Forever says, yes, it is. What is, Anshang? What is? Have I thought about doing a deal with a new kick streaming platform? It'd be cool if you or YouTube OG that moves there. Why would I move there? I like streaming on YouTube. Why would I want to move to kick? Exactly. I'm a little lost at your logic here. Part of me wants to peek in, but it's creepy. Well, I mean, yeah. Looks like someone got filled with lead with an Uzi. 
So there's definitely something here we need to do. But we don't have the ability to do it yet, whatever it is. So maybe we need some kind of a new item or something we don't have yet, right? Oh, Angie says, yes, it is a doozy. <laughs> That's what he meant. How did my wife and I celebrate our anniversary? We uh, we had a, we had a meal. We ordered uh, sushi. We talked about it on my Phil's Day Off segment the other day. We had good sushi and bad katsu. But we didn't know the katsu was bad at the time. So there's not much we could really do about it. <laughs> Pull a new floor. We got a special treatment room. Let's check these rooms out first to the to the left. Then we'll go through to the big floor there to the right. But let's go look at these doors first. This is called the special treatment room. A memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours of confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the top written sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. One other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, no. That's it? There was no point in being in here besides get my ass beat? <sighs> Got my ass beat. Another one of these logs. Okay. Flowing, flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. What the fuck is he talking about? I have no clue. <laughs> The only hint there is that he said spray a fag fragrance on hair. That's what I got out of that. That We have the perfume bottle. Maybe we're supposed to use the perfume bottle and spray it on hair somewhere. It's about the only thing. I, I don't know outside of that. All right. I guess we're going to check out these other There's a storeroom, another elevator, the day room. We'll check those out first. And then we're going to head into the other area of the hallway. So very nice. Excellent. 